Hello YouTube, James here. Today going to be building um, a rack for our friend Lene. And she got these Vision V18 tubs, very nice. And going to be building the rack around that. And for her rack, using the expanded black PVC. And um, got it over at Port Plastics. They made the two cuts for us on it and just have to cut them down on the table saw to the shelving size that we're going to use. And I got a new toy, got a nice table saw, been enjoying it, been making a few things. It's been making some of the cuts a lot easier, but get started on this build and show you a few steps on the way. All right, um, we got all the shelves cut, which need to be 15 and a half. We cut seven of them. Now getting ready to cut the sides and the height is going to be 30 inches. So got my fence set up to 30 inches from the blade and be running it through. Um, we had to buy some new PVC for our friend because made a mistake uh, when we were transporting at home we didn't leave it flat in the bed of the truck the tailgate was up and just the heat from the drive home warped some of those sheets and made it impossible to work with so we got her a new sheet nice and flat brought it home with the tailgate down and it's been making a lot more easier to cut so it's actually working pretty nice now we're routing the areas where the heat tape sits in the shelves so what I've done is I have my fence pushing up against this feather board to keep this piece of the PVC from not sliding back and forth. This one is being used as a stop block that way it can slide forward as I'm routing. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my trim router and I'll make the first pass to be the very back of the groove and then this is all because I don't have a router table and that's a three quarter inch um, sh straight bit so after I make a pass I lay a board down make the next pass lay another board down until I get to the width of my 4 inch heat tape and this is the one that I tested out with and you can see there's the groove and the heat tape sits right in the groove so that's how I'm doing this all right now that everything's cut going to go through these are what we use to as you've seen in the other rack builds use zip ties for holding the heat tape down that way it slides through it so going just to be giving all of it a cut to length and getting it screwed in. All right, now we got the top piece on, getting ready to put the next shelf down from the top. And using the same acrylic for the spacer 
and got my marks lined out on my Bora there there and there for the screws to go into that shelf that way all the shelves the screws will be going in the same line so that's how I keep the screws looking pretty even alright now for the rack got the 4 inch heat tape and we'll be using these electrical connectors with these copper rivets so what we do is you want to we have, we have a hole punch so kind of come through see where and grab a hole punch make sure you're right on the copper and punch right through you put your electrical connection right in and as you see right there then you get your rivet put it through grab your um, tool for they're the rivet act they're actually eyelets or eyelets and then you would put it on but go and get these set up first before I put this in that way it'll be easier working with the wire and these already attached and then for these also we use the shrink wrap oh it's already on so we just take the plastic bits off oh there in grab your crimpers And heat. Um, let me grab a lighter. And you don't want to keep the heat in one spot, you want to move it about, that way you get a nice tight shrink wrap around. And those are done. And None of this was really ready.
All right, now the wires are in, one to each side. The rivet is, or eyelid is in, and then this tool goes a certain way. So the smooth side goes to the top, the side with the cone goes to the bottom to take it over, so make sure you're on both sides and crimp and as you see got a nice very strong connection and on a lot of our um, cages when everybody asks you know what we use to heat this is the heat tape it comes in different sizes and Sometimes we do this way, sometimes we do solder. They both work just fine. And we haven't had a problem with the, either the solder connections or this connection. Haven't had a problem with them not working. So now that this part's done, you just want to get your electrical tape and tape up all this exposed that way there's no chance of electrical shock or anything all right and as you can see this side's all taped up nice and pretty and we have a whole bunch of heat tape here so now it's about feeding it through so come up These might be too close. So you have to unscrew them. Yep. The other thing, we didn't put a curve in these. So it's a tight corner. Yep. Okay. So just have to come through while I'm loosening the straps in the back, feed it through, and show you. All right, so I came through and on all the turns, I just undone the strap to make it a little easier to get in and out. So as I'm feeding it up, now you just want to grab it, get it under the strap, and then feed and just to be easy with it, you don't want to pull. You want to kind of keep a good little pressure as you go up. And this is where when building it, keeping your jig and all that, and keeping it all the same, because you're sending a straight piece to weave in and out, you want it all to line up, so when you start getting a little more into it, you just have to get slack, pull a little bit, come back down, get some more slack, and all you want to do is work your way up, and this is how you weave the heat tape through. It's very simple. For sometimes the up spot ones, I just kind of, these straps are together quite a bit closer than what we've done on our other racks because the tubs are kind of way more flat down the vision tubs so they need more room so the straps just ended up being closer to the sides of it so that's kind of why it's 
a little bit different feeding it through. But now you guys kind of get the point. There's no reason to show the rest of it. It's just... We'll show you when it's done. Yep. All right, now here's the completed rack and it's all finished. Heat tape ran through it. Didn't get a chance to film it on video. Um, friend came and picked it up, but this is it. So remember, like, subscribe, comment, and see you in the next video.